As your premier choice for inter-island travel, Bahamas Ferries would like to take you on a special journey as we show you the ins and outs of our wonderful company and the valuable contribution made over the years. Let's take a look at where we began, how we got to where we are now, and where we see ourselves headed. So let's get started at the best place to start, the beginning. We started out with one boat, uh, and that was um, the high-speed ferry called the Bohengi. Um, they coined its name from a elder statesman of Harbor Island uh, by the name of Henry Sawyer. And um, Mr. Sawyer, um, if you ever listen to Brylanders speak, because of the dialect, and I'm from Elutra, but I'm not from Brylan, right? Uh, because of the dialect, when they speak, um, things like brother uh, becomes um, like the R and the H and things, they get a bit confused and lost in, the, in, in, in their speech. And so uh, brother becomes Bo and Henry becomes Hengi and stuff like that. Bahamas Ferries was the original brainchild of Tyrone Sawyer, a Bahamian friend who brought the idea to a group of risk investors, risk capital investors back in 1998. I think we took us here two, almost two years to put the company together. At that time, bank financing was not available, so we all had to put up the total amount of money required to build the first Bohengi. And we commenced service to Spanish Wells and Harbor Island at the end of 1999. In 2001, we got the Sea Link. At that point, there were basically two separate companies operating um, with basically the same ownership. And so the owners determined that um, it would be make more sense to bring the companies together. So Bahamas Sea Road and Bahamas Fast Ferries amalgamated and became Bahamas Ferries. So that's how we came into being. Now, in 2003, thereabouts, um, we, again, because the passenger market was really good then, we went and we built, purpose built, the Sea Wind. We got the East Wind in 2012, which is um, strictly uh, freight, strictly freight. And um, after putting that into service for a couple of years, um, the ship became too small. And so we then went out and we looked for a bigger um, uh, freight-only vessel and we found the Enalgo Spray, which used to be the ex-Carib Sun. We purchased that, we had it refurbished, and now we have, we have it in service. And um, it's seeming already like that may be becoming a bit too small as well. So in the fleet, um, we have Bohengi 2, Bohengi 3, Seawind, Sealink, Elutra Express, Eastwind, and in Nagua Spray. Those are the boats that comprise the fleet. I think in the last five years, we've reinvented ourselves. Um, we were operating a sort of five vessel fleet that um, was mainly focused on roll on, roll off passenger operations. And we now have seven vessels um, with an eighth under construction. The company started out with uh, uh, probably 18 to 25 employees and since then we've grown to in excess of 100 employees. We've had also a tremendous amount of our, our crew members particularly who have had the opportunity to grow within the company which has been phenomenal I think. The destinations we service from New Providence are 12 in total on the islands of Eleuthera, Abaco, Grand Bahama, Andros, Exuma and Long Island. Now on Eleuthera, which is our primary destination and really where it all began, we service six ports. To complement our core services, we also offer the Harbor Island Dayaway Excursion. We offer harbor cruises, school packages, group travel and charters for large groups as well as freight into those destinations that we do not normally service. We have made a gallant effort to become a part of the communities in the family islands by employing persons within those communities. Also forging strong partnerships with third-party vendors such as restaurants, hotels, transportation providers, craft vendors and heavy equipment operators. We believe in supporting those businesses and initiatives that uplift, build and create wholesome communities. 
I think what's been interesting about the business for us over the last five years in particular has been that by adding to our Ropex fleet in terms of equipment, we've been able to enhance the offering to customers beyond sort of passenger and car service into what has become a full service freight company servicing all of our destinations uh, in the country at least once a week. Some with more frequency, but, but all at least once a week. My name is Carolyn Swan, and I head up the export division of Bahamas Food Services. So we sell to every single island and key outside of Nassau. Had it not been for Bahamas Ferries, I don't think Bahamas Food Services would be where it is today, simply because of the professional service that they offer and being able to get into the islands. The export part of Bahamas Food Services business um, has been impacted greatly by the service they, they, that they offer and also it's a great benefit to our customer base. My name is Susan Charlo and I'm a store manager here at Burroughs One Stop Grocery Store in Governor's Harbor, Luther. Burroughs One Stop has been in business for 20 years and um, we've been using Bahamas Ferries for at least uh, half of that time. Bahamas Ferries offers shipping in a different way. The mail boats, we have to pay per packet, and Bahamas Ferries offers pallet prices. So we're able to bring in more bulk products and bring down our costs a little more. Whereas with the mail boats, we have to pay for each thing by the case. So it's easier for us to bring in the bulk. My name is Elton Pinder and I'm manager of Spanish Wells Food Fair. I shipped with the Bahamas Fast Ferry for the past year and a half and they gave me good service. When uh, we uh, get shipped short items that the company is out of stock and it comes in the next day, let's say to Nassau, well I could call the Bahamas Fast Ferry and say, man do me a favor, I need this stuff on the boat tomorrow and they'll see that that gets on the boat the very next day. So that's been re real helpful to this company. The reason we decided to use Bahamas Ferries is that in the food business, the handling of product, temperature control is very important, otherwise you diminish the quality of your product. And so Bahamas Ferries has allowed us to be assured that we're going to get delivery of our products at the quality that they have been dropped off at the location in Nassau. We use Bahamas Ferries because we find that they're a very reliable source of transportation to and from the family islands. With Bahamas Ferries, they not only ship to the destination, but they also deliver it as well. So it makes it very convenient for the destination that it has to go to. What we like about Bahamas Fast Ferries is because it's on time, it's reliable, and we get our stuff all in one. Bringing the ferry on in, into, the, into Elutra brought people and then brought business. So I'm thankful to Bahamas Ferry because if it was not for them, I would not have been the top business. Bahamas Fast Ferry will be the way for us as farmers here in Elutra to get their product to Nassau and to get it there on time. We can grow it, but our biggest problem was being able to get it when you harvest it. Bahamas Fast Ferry moves every day, so it will be able to get to Potosky on time to be distributed to the hotels where it's going. I think in the short term, we would like to really focus on execution. And the teams really come together in a, in a strong way and we're, we're very on top of what we are seeking to accomplish. But now it's about saying, we want to do this by Friday, that stuff's done by Friday, and, and so on and so forth, going into a month or a quarter or a year. And, um, and I think that we're going to be very much able to achieve that. Uh, in the medium term, I think 
again, focusing on kind of enhancing the product offering to make sure that we're doing what our customers want us to do is, is very important for us. And in the long term, route expansion and making sure we cover a, a greater footprint to again continue the trend of, of growing with the, with the country and, and uh, those would be the short and medium long term goals that, that I would see. I think that the sort of the growth and transition of the company um, on, a, on a human level from the last sort of five years has been phenomenal. I mean everybody's really kind of hit their stride and we're all pretty certain about what we're trying to achieve and, um, and that level of cohesion with the people you work with is really, really special and it's exciting. Um, and so I think that reinvention has uh, you know, started on a course that, that we're very confident about executing and, and we couldn't do it without everybody kind of being on board to pardon the fun. <laughs> It makes us so happy to see where we've come from and everything the future holds for Bahamas Ferries. We've loved serving you and being a part of this great community of ours since 1999 and look forward to continuing to make and strengthen our connection for many more. Bahamas Ferries, we make the connection.